Well, folks, we are just a couple days away now from uh, the Electoral College vote being officially counted and certified in the joint session of Congress, but Republicans have not let up. And last Monday, Louis Gohmert, uh, joined by several other Republican members of the House of Representatives, filed a lawsuit against Vice President Mike Pence, who is going to be the person presiding over that joint session of Congress. But they sued Mike Pence to stop him from counting certain ballots in swing states that, uh, you know, they, they don't want counted because that's, that's why Trump lost. Uh, <laughs> so the case got dismissed or a case actually got thrown out. Uh, and on appeal, it got summarily dismissed by a Trump appointed judge. So even the guys that Trump put in power said, eh, you don't have a case here. Uh, we're getting rid of your lawsuit. So Gomer's case is over. And after Gomer's case was dismissed, the dude went crazy. And I know it's kind of hard to tell because Gomer's always been a little, you know, but he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> went a little more than usual. And he said, basically in effect, the ruling would be, you've got to go to the streets and be as violent as Antifa and BLM. Um, he was then, he said that to Newsmax and then Newsmax immediately like cut him off. Like, okay, all right, take you, Louis. Um, he later this weekend had to clarify that no, 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 I didn't mean actually go out there and, and be violent. So please don't go do what I told you to literally do. Um, so Gomert realized that he screwed up and he tried to walk it back, but let's look at what your, your comments actually say. Be as violent as Antifa and black lives matter. So break a couple windows, maybe engage in some petty vandalism and, and spray painting. Really? We have to understand that there is a narrative that has been crafted by the conservative media that somehow Black Lives Matter or even Antifa are these bloodthirsty criminals roaming our streets. That's not true. In fact, the people doing that, the people who actually are violent, the people who've actually murdered people, yeah, those are the ones on the right. Like your people have done that, Louis Gohmert. Kyle Rittenhouse, that name ring a bell to you? 17 year old kid cross state lines to murder two counter protesters. Yeah, that was, that's one of your people. That's not, that's not Antifa. That's not black lives matter, but nevertheless, that's not going to stop Republicans from pushing this narrative because that is what Republicans do. The democratic party has just totally disavowed. Oh, we don't want anything to do with these groups. We're not a part of it. No, don't link us with them. And meanwhile, Republicans demonize them when it's actually their side that's going out there and quite literally murdering individual uh, people and people, human beings. But yeah, so Antifa and black lives matter get kind of thrown under the bus by their own party and they get really thrown under the bus by the Republicans as some kind of scapegoat for everything that's wrong with this country. That ain't what's happening here. And Gomert knows that, but Gomert had to take a pot shot because he got his feelings hurt because he filed a stupid lawsuit that he knew was going to fail. And he looks like an idiot. So he had to try to say, oh, well, these violent Antifa and Black Lives Matter types. Yeah, they're horrible. Now, Louis, you know, what's horrible is that somebody as stupid as you are somehow ended up being a representative in the United States House of Representatives. That's what is driving me insane. Louis Gohmert is a threat to the United States Constitution and this little lawsuit, this little stunt he pulled proves that. This is not the kind of man that should be trusted. This is not the kind of man that should have any kind of power here in the United States. This is the kind of person that the rest of us should look upon with pity until they get the mental help that they deserve.